for the given function f of x and values of l c and epsilon which is a positive epsilon find the largest open interval about c on which the inequality the absolute value of difference between f of x and l should be less than epsilon holds then determine the largest value for delta positive such that for all x satisfying uh, the difference between x and c should be positive and less than delta the inequality the difference between f of x and l should be less than epsilon holds for this functions uh, the value of the function is the square root of 16x plus 41 L is 4, 11, C is 5, and epsilon is 0 0.08. To do this problem, first of all, you have to understand what you are looking for. So uh, let's say okay, so um, let's say uh, the function function means it's a value at the y coordinate. So this is our function value, the y value, and this is our x values. What we're trying to do here is we would like to find out, uh, you know, we would like to draw a ball around uh, the value 11 because the value of L is 11. So we would like to draw a ball around 11 such that, you know, the radius of this ball, if you think like this as a ball, which is uh, just, uh, you know, one dimensional ball on the y axis. And the radius of this ball is uh, called epsilon here. Since it's a radius of a ball, so it's always positive. So here, whatever value you take here inside this ball, that is your f of x. So the difference between the value of f of x and 11 is always less than epsilon. That should be the case. That is what we want. And we know that the value of function comes from, uh, you know, the different uh, for different value of x, there will be different value of f of x. So, for example, if you take, uh, you know, the x is 5, then the value of function would be, uh, according to this, you know, uh, formula, you can calculate the value. So, what we are trying to do here is, we would like to make sure that, uh, you know, no matter what ball you create here around 5, on the x-axis so ball means one more time it's a two uh, you know one dimensional ball so think about just for visualization in your mind you can think this as a ball with the radius delta we would like to make sure that if you create a ball around five and uh, you know um, then you have to make sure that if you pick anything from this ball so let's say the value x the value of the function should go inside this ball that is what we would like to have okay and uh, we need to find out what should be the radius delta what should be the value of delta which make sure that whatever x you pick from here that will go inside this uh this uh this uh, interval here on the y-axis so the one way of doing this is you start with uh, you know this relation the difference between f of x minus l is less than epsilon so this absolute value means uh, you know the difference this means it's about anything from here to here the difference between f of x and 11 is less than epsilon means you are talking about all the value of function f of x from here you want to have this one and you want to make sure that you can create a uh, you know uh you know interval around five on the x-axis with the you know the interval with the length delta such so that if you pick anything from here that will go inside here and how do you write that this way if f of x minus l is less than epsilon for for x minus c is less than delta so in this problem we have given f of x we have given l we have given epsilon we have given c we just need to find out the delta and how do you do that we go we start from here and we go back to there so just plug the value of f of x l epsilon and try to get this value okay how do you do that so f of x in our case is it's a square root of 16x plus 41 minus l is 11 
epsilon is 0 0.08 right so here the function is a square root function so you know the one way of simplifying this problem is the difference between the function value and l the absolute value is less than something means you can write down the very same thing like this the value the this difference should be in between negative 0 0.08 negative 0 0.08 to positive 0 0.08 that might be anything from negative 0 0.08 to positive 0 0.08 you know this difference that is the meaning of this absolute value okay so if you simplify this uh, this expression here that will give you the range of x i mean the range of x here okay so if you simplify and that's that's the whole idea we would like to simplify this and find out the range of x and eventually we just subtract 5 from that range and that will help us to find this delta okay so let's simplify this if you simplify this first of all you have to add 11 you know here and that will be uh, 11 minus 0 0.08 is 10.92 less than the square root of 16x plus 41 it's 11.08 and now you have this square root and you don't want a square root you want to find out the range of x so you just square it thoroughly you know you can do that it's just solving the inequality if you square the left side and middle side and then right side i'm going to use my calculator here so uh, the square of 10.92 10.92 that's the square of that is uh, 119 119.2464 the square of this is 16x plus 41 and then the square of 11.08 is 122.7664 we would like to solve for x so first of all we subtract 41 from here and since you were subtracting from this uh, inequality, so it will just, uh, you know, um, hold that inequality. So on the right side, it will be 81.7664. In the middle, it says 16x. And on the left side, it's uh, 119 minus 41 equals 78.2464. We would like to solve for x. So just divide everything by 16. So um, on the left side there is 78, 24, 64 divided by 16. So that is 4.8904x. And then if you divide 81.77 uh, sorry 81.7664 seven six six four divide by sixteen and that is five point one one zero four so now we just you know went back we wanted to have this inequality we wanted to have the difference between the function and eleven should be less than zero point zero eight the absolute value so from here we track back and we found that that is possible if we choose x on the x-axis from 4.8904 to the 5.1104 so look at here look at look at go back here in this picture here if the value of x is from 4.8904 to 5.1104 then this calculation guarantees that the value of the function you know uh, for those uh, value of x will go inside this bulb okay and that is what we want so to answer this question here this is our answer for the range of x to answer this question here look at here the largest open interval about c on which the inequality this holds is this is the interval we found 4.8904 round to the four decimal places 4.8904 4.8904 to 5. Point, let me go here 1104. 
5.1104. So if we pick the value of x from this interval, then it will guarantee that, you know, the value of the function, the difference between the value of the function and L should be less than epsilon. Check your answer. And that's great. So now, from this calculation, we can say that, oh, okay. So now we know that if we pick anything x from this range, which is 4.8904 to 5.1104, then the value of the function, you know, the value, let's say this is x, the function f of x here, the difference between the value of that function f of x and 11 should be inside this interval with the length less than epsilon. Okay? But the second part, the largest value of delta, we need to find out if we try to create a, you know, ball like this, interval like this around 11 here, but on the x-axis we would like to create a ball around 5, and we would like to make sure that either you go to the left side of that ball and right side of the ball, for any value of x from inside of that ball that will go inside here and that is possible if we choose the value of delta value of delta is the minimum of this distance or this distance because that will make your ball a little bit smaller so as you can see that the difference between 5 and 4.8904 which is uh, you know if i just uh, you know if i just uh, so the difference between here, this difference is a point one one zero four, and this difference, this difference is, you know, from five to four point eight nine zero four. Th that difference is point one zero nine six. Okay, so if we make a ball of radius delta which is a minimum of this distance, which is eventually it's 0.1096. I'm going to use a different uh, color here to make sure that you see that, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. So if I make, a, you know, 0.1096, or 0 0.1104 if I take the minimum of this two which is 0 0.1096 for sure if I take this as a delta so this is my delta so I have to go to this I, from 5 I have to go same distance from to the left side or right side so if I try to draw delta here it will go up to some point here so it will make sure that because we know that anything we pick from left side to the right side it will go eventually here and now we are just saying okay let's say delta is the minimum of this distance then we can represent this information as a ball as a, as a ball of radius delta so i can we can say that oh if the delta is minimum of this two number then our uh, distance would go from here you know our choice will go from here to here then for sure that that value eventually will be inside this this uh this interval here so in this case we all all this have to choose the delta uh, you know equal minimum of this distance of these two numbers from the center number in this case it's a point one zero nine six okay so the delta is the largest value of delta such that for all x satisfying this the inequality holds is point one zero nine six Okay, so that's how we solve this type of problem. I hope, uh, you know, uh, it helps you to understand this problem. Okay.